This video explains projections of a pentagonal pyramid resting with a base corner. The slant edge is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. Let us see a problem. A pentagonal pyramid of base edge 30 mm and axis length 60 mm is standing on the ground with a base corner in such a way that a longer edge containing that base corner is perpendicular to HP. The axis is parallel to VP. Draw its projections. In this problem, pyramid resting with its base corner, only a point on the HP. One of the longer edges of the pyramid is perpendicular to HP. The longer edges of pyramids are always inclined to its axis. So, when the axis is perpendicular to HP, the longer edges will be inclined to HP. Similarly, when the longer edge is perpendicular to HP, the axis will be inclined to HP. Therefore in this case, the axis of the pyramid is inclined to HP and parallel to VP. While drawing the projections of this case, it can only be drawn in two stages. In the first stage, we have to assume that, the axis is perpendicular to HP. The base shape of the pyramid, a pentagon, can be seen in the plan. Pentagon has an odd number of sides. Here the pyramid rests with its base corner, so an edge opposite to this corner will be perpendicular to VP. Draw the XY line. Draw a pentagon of side 30 mm. While drawing the pentagon, one edge of it should be kept perpendicular to the XY line, so that the pyramid can be tilted, based on the corner opposite to this edge. Name the base corners with numbers. Find out the center point of the pentagon by drawing two lines between the midpoint of a side and its opposite corner. This is the apex point O. Join all the base corners to the apex point because these lines are the slant edges of the pyramid. To draw the elevation, project the apex point O above the XY line. This is the axis of the pyramid. Mark the height of the pyramid, 60 mm on the axis. This is, O, dash. Project all the base corners, up to the XY line. Mark the corresponding points of elevation. Join all these base points to the apex point O, dash. By this the projections of the pyramid, with the condition axis perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP are drawn. In the actual condition, the pyramid is resting with a base corner with one slat edge perpendicular to HP or ground. The edge, for dash, O, dash, at the right-hand side, is the slant edge with its true length. We can notice that this slant edge is parallel to VP and inclined to HP. So, we have to tilt the pyramid, until this slant edge for dash, O, dash become perpendicular to HP. Draw a vertical line from the XY line. Measure the length of 4 dash O dash from the first stage elevation and mark it on this line. For dash at the bottom and O dash at the top. For dash is the base corner on which the object is resting. The base is a straight line in the elevation. Measure its length and cut an arc from 4 dash. The line, 1 dash, O dash on the left side of elevation is actually a triangular face, 1 dash, 2 dash, O dash. Measure the length of the other side, 1 dash, O dash. Cut an arc from, O dash, of second stage elevation. Join this intersection point with the apex point. Mark the other base points 3 dash and 5 dash. 
Draw the slant edge 3 dash O dash. Now, to draw the final plan, project all the base corners and apex point below the XY line. Project the base points and apex point from the first stage plan also. Here the apex point O dash and base corner 4 dash are on the same projectors. Mark the other corresponding points of intersection. Draw all the base edges. And all the slant edges also. Slant edge 5, O, will be coinciding with the base edge 5, 4. Slant edge 3, O, will be coinciding with the base edge 3, 4. Thus projection of the pentagonal pyramid resting with its base corner on the ground and slat edge perpendicular to the ground are drawn.